एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी सो टूडे विल बी टीचिंग यू कंटूर इंटीग्रल सिंपली एंड मल्टीप्ली कनेक्टेड रिलेशन Hi, I'm Dr. Neelam, faculty in the Department of Applied Mathematics, Delhi Technological University, Delhi. For more details, you can refer to the book from Ishan Publishing. Details are given on this site, and link is given in the description box. So uh, today we will start with contour integral, and then we will be cal uh, we will be uh, discussing simply connected region and multiply connected region, and we will solve uh, two three questions on that, which will be covered in two parts of the video. so in the first part first let us try to understand what do we mean by contour integral so in complex in complex analysis we have let us say this curve is given to us so this curve is given to us c and direction is counter clockwise so the c is represented by a function f z now let us say that this curve c has been divided into finitely many parts with the help of the points z0 z1 so it is z1 z2 z3 so on and so forth and let us say that this is zn minus 1 and z not has been taken as a that is the starting point so this is z not equals to a and this equals to a and this is z n and let us say that this is equal to b z n is b in between these points and let me say that this is z k minus 1 and this is z k this point is z k the arrow shows the direction and in this uh, uh, in uh, complex analysis counter clockwise is the positive direction so this has been this curve has been divided into infinite uh, finitely many parts so let us say that in each portion there is one point which is called as this is xi1 xi2 and in between this one we have this point as xi k at which the value of the function needs to be uh, we will be calculating so if we take sum of all such parts so it is coming out to be f xi1 into z1 minus z0 z1 minus z0 similarly we keep on adding and zk zk minus zk minus 1 and plus the nth one it it goes till the nth point now if we take the sum of all such so it becomes i is equal to 1 to n because we have n number of points and it is f xi i z i minus z i minus 1 yeah and let us say that z i minus z i minus 1 is delta z i so this s is taken as sigma f xi i delta z i i is from 1 to n now if we say that this function is continuous uh, f z is continuous and the largest uh, this arc de of delta z k let me say that this is the largest arc it is tending to zero then this s this summation can be converted into the integration so it becomes this integration c f z d z so this is said to be let us represented by i so this is called as integration of f z over this c over this curve c uh, which will be taken into positive direction that is the clockwise direction so if such a integration is there this is called contour integral in complex so this is called the contour integral contour integral now it is not necessary that uh, c has been represented like this 
Now let us take that. This is our xy plane. So let us say that c is denoted by this. Uh, th so since it is a curve, so it can be uh, represented by a line, this type of curve, this is c. But this direction is must to show that it is in the positive direction or negative direction. Now, this gives rise to two terms. They are called as simply connected region. Simply connected region and multiply connected region. And multiply connected region. What do we mean by simply connected region and multiply connected region? So let me take this. So this is our C. And if there is, or, or let me make another figure. This is x, y plane. And let me say that this is our C. So it is, let us say, mod of z is equal to 1. So it is a circle of radius 1. So if any region is there inside this, let me call it as this gamma. If this region is there, which can be shrink to a point without coming out of this C, this was our C. If this gamma or, or let me represent it by R, if this region can be shrinked to a point without coming out of this C, then it is called as simply connected region. Right? Now let us try to uh, make it more clear that we will say that if it is not simply connected, then it is multiply connected. But let, let us take one more example. So let me take two circles are there. This is C1 and this is mod of z is equal to 3. That is a circle of radius 3. And inside this is a circle C2 which is a circle mod of z is equals to 1. And let us say a region between these two. So let me say that this is our r or, or gamma whatever you need to this is simply representation and this uh, arrow represents the direction now if we shrink this gamma the into a, if we try to make it shrink to a point then it is coming out of this annulus region this is the annulus region so if the c was the annulus region and if any curve is lying in this annulus, then it cannot shrink to a point without coming out of this uh, region. If it is so, then it is called multiply connected region. I hope the uh, uh, difference is very clear. When do we call a uh, region as the simply connected region? If it can be shrinked to a point without coming out of the C, then it is called a simply connected region. So this is a simply connected region. This is simply connected region, simply connected. And when, the, if we take this uh, annulus region for this curve, uh, if, the, if we take this annulus region, and if now if we try to make it shrink to a point, then it is not possible without coming off this region. So if we shrink to a point, it, it will come out of this annulus, and therefore this will be called as multiply connected region. Now we can, uh, show this multiply connected region by some more figures. So suppose some C is there, some C is there and in between some, this is let me say C1, C2, C3. So if such figure is there, then they will be called as multiply connected region. Okay, we cannot uh, shrink it uh, from this one. So without coming out of this. So uh, that is how the simply connected region and multiply connected region are very, very important. Now we can take this uh, 
integration or, or we can take the contour integral for simply connected region as well as for multiply connected region. So, for uh, uh, when, when a curve has been divided into more number of parts, more number of simply connected region, then that contour integral over C can be written as a sum of those, uh, sum of the integration over C1, C2, C3 and so on and so forth. So, that is how the integra contour integral will be written for such kind of uh, regions. Now, we will make it more clear that how to calculate the contour integral. So, contour integral will be calculated using this uh, uh, fz. So, contour integral will be calculated using the c fz dz. Now, there is one more notation which we need to understand that if, if c is a closed curve, if C is a closed curve, then the contour integral will be represented uh, with this notation. So, it is closed curve. Uh, if, if this circle is there over this integration sign, if the circle is there over this integration sign, it clearly means that C is going to be a closed curve. So, then we can find out the integration of this uh, integrand. Now, there will be no change in the integration be because of the presence of this sign. This is only a notation to show that C is a closed curve. Okay. So, that is how we will be referring this contour integral. So, we may conclude that uh, when we are uh, talking about simply connected region and multiply connected region, that a simply connected region, a simply connected region does not have, does not have holes in it. So, this is the clear indication that how a curve is said to be a simply connected region. Then uh, we have the definition of the Jordan curve when a curve is said to be a Jordan curve. Any continuous closed curve that does not interact with itself and which may or may not have finite length is called Jordan curve. So, any continuous closed curve that does not interact with itself interact with itself so both the conditions should be true simultaneously that it it should not interact with itself and it may or may not have may not have finite length is called Jordan curve. So, in this part of the video, we have learned that what do we mean by contour integral? What do we mean by simply and multiply connected region? In next part of the video, we will be taking some examples for contour integral in which the integration will be solved. For more detail of the subject, you can refer to the book from Eschan Publishing, details of which is given here and link is given in the description box. I am sure you must have liked the video. Please do like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon for notification for upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.